Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys an outdoor bar that I built throughout the summer. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's not your first time here, welcome back and thank you guys so, so much for your continuous love and support. Here I'm showing you everything that I am using in this project. Unfortunately, I did this for the summer. It was one of the hardest projects I've ever done. Not really hard, but it was hard to do it by myself. So I'm showing you here the stuff that I use. Please, please, I'm so sorry. I can't remember how much piece, and I'm really not going to go out there to count how many pieces. The bar is 12 foot long and 8 foot wide. So whichever your landscape size is, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. You probably make the same one I make, but you just got to figure out what works for you. Or maybe this is not the video for you. But here I am showing you some of the stuff that I pick up at the Home Depot and the Lowe's. And here it's late at night and I have my friend over and I wanted to just get a jump start. And I beg, 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 please just help me get a jump start because tomorrow I'm off. And I could, if I get a jump start just to square this out, then I could do the rest tomorrow. So here we are trying to dig down the ground, trying to get those paver blocks in to square this out. So this is what it looks like the next morning all by myself. Friend is gone and I'm trying to get it up on these blocks. And let, let me tell you, these blocks are heavier than heavy. OK, when I say heavy, Lord, help me, Jesus. Guys, I'm traumatized from this project, and this is why it took me this long to upload this video. And not only that, I got so frustrated, I didn't even know I have this much clip, okay? I said, enough, I can't, I have to focus, I can't video this while trying to do it. I had to focus, plus I'm using my phone. I would have no storage if I just leave that camera running. So here we are, we're just showing you how we got the level, I got the level on, and I'm just showing you that, well, looks like I'm level right there. We'll see when I get to the next side. <laughs> And it, plus my landscape slope. So here I am. I per, I purchased the wrong set of wood. Well, not the wrong set of wood. Originally, I planned on doing an 8x8, eight eight, but I end up doing 12x8. So now I have all these 8-footers. Um, and I rent a truck from the Home Depot to bring those wood home. I ain't bringing them back. So I lay them out because I remember my deck has those uh slant way how they set the wood. So I'm like... Hmm. Let me lay it out and see if I'm going to need more or if it would be enough. So I'll know if I need to bring it back. So I laid it out. You guys see it to make sure it was going to be good. So that's what I did. So now here we are. We're using some weed fabric and we just got, I'm just going to put that under the bottom of the, the floating deck because I don't want weeds and stuff to grow in. So this is called like a floating deck. So I'm building the bar on a floating deck. So the next day, again, I needed help in simplest terms. Shayna needed help. So my friend and his wife came over, another friend and his wife came over and they came to give me a helping hand. I appreciate them so much because I don't know, without them, I wouldn't be this far. Like I say, it wasn't a hard project, but it's a project that you needed more than one hand. I couldn't have done it without them. Okay. I tried my best. I did my best, but I needed second hand, especially to get those um, four corners up and get them level and standing again, because the landscape is not um, level like right here wasn't a big deal like my friend helped me put those straps on and the belts for hold those wood in but I could have done those those are easy but thank god I appreciate the help just to get past that stage because man I drill until I can't feel my hand I feel like <laughs> drill I think I have carpal tunnel from doing that okay so now that we have all of that we have it square and everything now we're laying a flat paver to get our standing post which is our 12 footers now so look at that bad boy we're just showing you the level everything is nice and level and we're also plumb. We did the whole corner to corner. In order to find out what we did, which is I didn't show you how we know our square, uh, our deck is square. We measure from one corner to the other corner like that. That I can't even say. It. We measure one diagonal from one corner to the other. Got our same number. We knew we were square. So that's my friend wife holding. And of course, I didn't do too much video because of course these people take their time out of their precious day to come over to help me. Who wants to be making a video? And they're older. Like, nobody has time for this. They're older, you know. They want to get it done and go back to go relax. Nobody wants to do all that. They did all this in their younger days. They're not really old, but older than me, you know. So, anywho, I'm just trying to show you guys here what we did. We drilled through and holes, you see, drilled through with big lock screws, like I showed you guys. And then we used those big old pieces, hammer it in after drill through to tighten it up to make sure everything is fine. So, I'm just showing you guys what we did course the whole tutorial is not on because you can't be video when people are helping you you don't work that way all right gotta use your conscience okay so now this is where my friend and his wife took me to this is where i really needed the help 
this was the biggest part of the problem to get this up. Okay. By myself. So they helped me and they got it up and it was like 12 o'clock during the day. They went home. Now I'm all by myself hitting it off again. Okay. So I appreciate them so much and they know that. So once they were gone, this is where that, then I decided to start bracing the inner part. So that's what I did. Went ahead and I used some one by six, cut them up because Shane ain't going to buy no more wood. If you are a contractor, I'm sorry. Thank you for your advice. If you have any for me, but please do not come over here and judge my floating deck. It's doing well because I am not a professional. I just try to do this for myself and for my comfort. So if you have any suggestion, gladly appreciate it, but don't want to hear it's going to fall down. Cause guess what? I've been jumping on it with my friends the whole time. So any who's leave it alone. So any who's cause I don't got money to pay you guys. Cause I know this is hard work. I'm not going to say you guys are expensive. It's hard work and I cannot afford it. So any who's I started using my, um, I was showing you guys there how the, the, the edge was all messed up because I was using my miter saw to cut them at an angle at a 45 degree angle to get them on. I got so tired and I'm trying to rush it. So what I did, I put them on and started to act like I'm a professional with a circular saw. Of, of, uh, of course, I did not have the blade set correctly. So I fuck it up. Sorry, my language. <laughs> Anywho, you know me, we got to go to second plan B. And for those who are builders and can do stuff, yeah, I did fuck it up. Anywho, so, and I already know that, so thank you. Um, so here we are. I, I'm just trying to get every last bit of this in because I wanted to close this out before the night ends. You guys know I work night shift if you're not new here, okay? And I just wanted, I, I think, I don't know if this even was even my day off. It was in the summertime. Sun is still shining. God knows. It's probably six o'clock in the evening. Who knows? Anywho, I'm just trying to drill through. I tell you, I drill, I drill until I can't drill holes no more, okay? I feel like, so we're trying to secure those and you guys can see I'm almost there. Okay. Almost there. So thank God for grace and thank God for help and strength. But this was a bitch. I'm telling you, this project was one of my most challenged. I've built a pergola before at my old house. If you want to see how I did, I didn't really have a, a full video of that, but, um, you guys want to see what it looks like. I will link that in the description box below. And also in the I card above, so you guys can see that. Okay, so that's what it looks like once I was done. And the last one that I told you guys I built, I didn't have to do. It's not floating, nothing. I built like a concrete patio, which was way easier. Uh, uh, and then you know, and all that. Long story short, that was way easier. Plus, I had more people nearby. I lived close to my mom. I had a good neighbor, and people were close by to come and help me. Now I live a little further away. I have no help. All my friends and family live back. Not too far, but 40 minutes away, and everybody's busy with life, okay? So you can't be mad at people. So that's what it is. After I was done, I secure all those wood because my friend just got those up. Yes, you're going to be wondering why is some of it high and some of it low. Don't worry. It's gonna At the end of the day, we're going to get it done, Okay. So here I am, I am cutting down some one by six and I'm just doing like a 45 degree angle cut. And then I'm going to like tap off a little piece at the front. And this is, I'm making the rafters for the roof so we could get that um, roof, uh, roof part like tied together so we could put the covers on. So that's all I'm doing. Like I say, I cut so much. I just start cutting at a 45 then reverse and dash, um, cut that small piece off at the top. I'm surprised. Like guys, I'm so surprised. You guys are probably tired of me. So surprised I have this much video. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if I can even be sarcastic in this video because just watching it, I'm like, this, this thing just, I'm traumatized. Yeah, but it didn't stop me, okay? It didn't stop me from keep building because you guys seen I kept building. And this was one of the earlier projects, but just took me forever to get done. It's finally done. So stay tuned for next year where you're going to see how I um, do my little landscaping around it. And let me know, guys, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Whether you're new here or you're a continuous um, member, not member, but a continuous and or follower of the Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts, do, when you guys are looking for videos to make things or looking for videos for anything, do you like those videos that are broken up into parts, like part one, part two, part three, part four? Uh, are you guys like one full you prefer to watch a 30 minutes video long of the, the, um, whatever you're looking for. Me personally, I would prefer watch a one hour video because if it's interested and it has the thing, if it's interested and I want to learn, I'm going to watch. If it's not interested, then I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to find one. 
that have the information in it. Or if they're talking bullshit and not giving me the information I need, then of course I'm going to jump off and find something else. But I prefer to sit there and watch a one video, a video in one setting and get the information and go back and rewatch it, rewatch it to get a part that I miss. Because to me personally, I go on YouTube all the time to find things to watch. And what happened is you find part one. It could be YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. You find that part one. And then stay tuned for part two. And you're like, where the fuck is the finished project? Sorry, my language. Like, where's the finished project? And you're like, stay tuned for part two. And you're like, uh. And now this video is like 10 years old or five years old, three days old, whatever it could be, years old and days old. And now you're trying to find that part two. But these, this creator has posted so much videos before they get to part two. It sucks. So personally, I would prefer watch a one hour video that has the whole thing in it and I just keep going back and fast forward rewind fast forward rewind to get that part versus scrolling and wasting my time when I did find that one video that would help me part two is 10 years ago and part one is 20 years ago you see what I mean that's just me so go ahead and type in the comment section if you guys like like I mean it could be any videos hair videos makeup videos food videos whatever video and tell me if you guys I know a lot of people see the long video and be like uh-uh that's too long so anywho's Gonna take a nap. Time for sleep. I gotta work tonight, so I'm gonna shower, go to bed, and I may pick up tomorrow. So I guess that's it for today. So tomorrow is um where we pick up. All right, so here we go on the next day in the evening. I apparently I probably went to work, came home, slept because I went to bed the day before late. And now we're, uh, we're to be, it's called to be continued. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to be like, why are you wearing a hoodie? Guys, this was so hot. The sun, like when I'm, I'm telling you, I'm out here and that sun was hitting me in the back. When I say hitting me, I said, what kind of sin have I committed, Lord? Why the sun is doing me like this? It was brutal. So I had to put a long sleeve on and I would, I would prefer be hot than being burned. Okay. If that makes sense. So I was hot, but I'm not burned. So that's why I have my long sleeve on. So here we are. We're trying to make a back, like a privacy wall in the back of the bar. Okay. So I have my lever here. That is not mine. Somebody left it at the house and now it's become mine. I have it for years. It's not even mine. Anywho, I told you, do not leave anything here because you leave it here. Now it becomes a property of Shana's home DIY and crafts. Anywho, so we're measuring our post to make sure everything is fine. So what I did in order to figure out how I'm going to make my back in here. I am using for my privacy wall, those, um, um, pine yellow dog ears, um, picket fence. So all I did was kind of like figure out if this is eight foot long, how do I split this up and make it work? Okay. Without wasting too much of the wood and make everything work. So that's what I did. I did like a map, figure that out. Can't ask me at the moment. Cause I really don't remember if you guys are new here, Shane, I don't know anything. I just make things. Okay. And if you're not new, if you're not new, you already know what time it is. So where is, I'm using a piece of two by four. Okay. Two by four by eight. And I just make sure that is level. I kind of put it under the rafter of the roof bar to brace it. You see, if you guys notice, I put it under the one by six so it could help hold some pressure too. I live up north. I got to see how this holds up for the winter. I'm so nervous. But the last one I built was nothing like this. It wasn't this strong and it held up for years. Okay, so we'll see. So I'm making sure those two by fours are a level and I, um, you know, I put those in, screw them in, attach them from the floor and attach them from the top. Everything is level. So you guys see what I'm doing back there is I'm using those fence. This is exactly anybody notice. They haven't seen me with a tape measurement. We're now 13 minutes into the video and you haven't seen me with a tape measure. <laughs> you haven't seen me with a tape measurement. Again, I have a bunch of tape measurement, but I eyeball stuff. Okay. Uh, but anywho, this one I did, I, I bought some of the stuff, but what I did is I took my fence post. You see how I did there and kind of measure it. So I start from the middle cause the middle was bigger. So this way I, I use my pencil mark instead of measure and cut. And then, you know, I kind of figure it out. And as I go along and go all the way up, so now I'm cutting that piece, put it under my miter saw and I'm just going to cut it just like that. One, two, three, cut it. Then I go over there and then I measure a few more piece of the picket post with the one that I previous cut because that's why you notice I was going up and down, up and down, <laughs> up and down, <laughs> up and down to make sure this thing is level and it's square. So even though I eyeball it, you haven't seen me with a tape measurement though. It works now, please. It works. I don't know if it's going to work for you, but it works. It works. It works for me. Anywho. So here we are gone over there and life is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of that little piece that I cut off from the top, which you see me got there. 
And I'm going to use that as a guide to make sure the spacing in between these folds are just the same amount. So we put that in between, we got our screws, get our drill, and we're going to drill and drive away, okay? Secure that into that two by four. And that's it. This part was easy. This part was not hard. I enjoy doing this part. Very one, two, three, one, two, three, eight. You know what I'm saying? Very easy. So even if <laughs> if you guys just want to make like a little nice privacy wall or fence around your deck that you already have, this part was really, really easy. And you don't have to use these um, posts. I chose to use these because they were cheaper because you guys know what ain't, ex what ain't cheap. And these are exterior. So, and it's a, ooh, whoever, you know, it's just for me. Like I said, I'm not building this thing to say, oh, I got to build this so I need to build the value of my house to sell it. I'm doing this for me, okay? For me, not because I'm trying to build this thing to sell it. It's all belong to Shayna. This is for my comfort. So you see how I go. I'm trying to show you from the back side. If you notice in the two by four, I didn't bring the wood all the way. I stop. I know I'm moving very fast. Guys, if I could, if I leave this video at the regular speed, you'll be here until 90, until 20, 30, 20, 30 or 30, 20. I don't know what I'm saying to watch this video, please. So please, if you're interested, just, I don't know. If you're a person who come across this video and you're interested in it, maybe this is not the video for you, but you could just watch me running around like a chicken without head. Or you could, I don't know. But anywho, I can't do it any slower. This is like time six. I'm going time six. You guys would not see. You guys would just click off of it. So anywho, that's it. So now I got to the top. Now I got to the top and these one by, uh, they're not one by six. They're six by three over four, whatever, three quarters. And now I got to the top. Uh, we have a oopsie. But don't worry. We're going to fix that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. So now those are, I think I was talking in the video. So those are one by six and I'm showing you guys that won't fit there. It won't fit, but it's not the end of the world. The world isn't over. Storm is over. Storm is over now. And I can see the sunshine somewhere. Be I'm telling you, this project was like that. The storm is over. And I'm out there just lighting fire as the night go by and just enjoying it. My even me and Fiona and every now and then I have a friend over. So anywho, so what I did, I use the four by three quarter pieces of wood. Okay. It's the same thickness, just a little smaller and watch what I'm going to do. We're going to cut that and we're using a long piece. This is a 12 footer. Is it 12 footer? I don't know. Whatever it was at the time. If you guys notice, I don't have a tape measurement. I do have tape measurement. There's one there, but I never use it. A couple of them too. That's the most I have from every tool I have. I have more than tape measurement can done tape measurement can done, but barely use them. So I cut whatever I highball it, measure it, cut it. You see me make my line. And then now it's a different day. I'm wearing a different clothes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I did these while going to work guys. It, this is, this was, it was hard. So anywho, put it up there, cut it. And then the doubt and tell me that I Shayna Thomas did not do that. Right. I know I did. The rest may not be right, but this wall, Yes, guys. So that's how I got these wood up on top of the roof. Okay. I just literally pull them up and throw them up. So if you keep watching, you're going to see. So at some point I goes, this don't make any sense. I put them up there to make sure. But like I was saying, I use those metal brace bracket to hold it. So I put them up there and I measure, this is how I measure to cut them. You see, 
I put them up there, measure them, cut them. So here's what's going on now. This is where we're at. This is how it's looking. It's looking beautiful to me because why? It belongs to me. Okay. So, and I really love all that back wall. Look at that back wall, man. That back wall was everything. I did a good job on that. So anywho, I'm there and I'm like, I'm going to put these rafters up. But I'm like, if I leave them up there like that, because I'm going to, I'm going to stay in this. I said, if I leave this up there, I'm just giving myself extra work. So I stop right there. So here is the stain I'm using. Thank God I make a video because somebody was going to ask me the color and the type of stain. And after a few months, I wouldn't remember. So I made a video part of the stain. Got it from Home Depot. Beer sells. If you want beer paint, you got to go to Home Depot. So you want this specific type of paint. I don't know where else, but around where I live, it's Home Depot. You won't get it at Lowe's or Sherlin Williams, whatever. So that's the color and that's the stain I'm using. And I, I have a small roller here to do the one by six. And I have a mop stick that I'm going to roll and roll. So what happened is I go out there, I figure, ah, this ain't going to work. The roller, again, is too, the stick is too long. So, of course, I took the ladder, went on the ladder, went over there, and I'm rolling away. No, I'm telling you, I'm very tired. I work, like I say, work nights and coming home trying to finish this project by myself was a bitch. So I'm over there. I'm not going to be showing you guys the whole thing because everybody know what paint is. Everybody know what stain is. But what pisses me off the most was look at this. I forgot this was on the ladder, moved the ladder and the shit fell right off. So this was painful. It was a painful, pro I don't know. You guys can't feel my pain, but this was painful. So please, I beg, watch this video and share it out. Please, no, please. Okay, so now I took those rafters one by three, three quarter off the, roof because I'm like, no, we got to work smarter, not harder. So I put it on my top there and on my ladder and I got a bigger roller and I roll it into the stain. And then I put two, two pieces of uh, one by three quarter wood. And then this is what I'm going to do. So guys, please do this. Work smarter, not harder. See that? Now I am rolling that on. So now instead of, because think about it, you put this on the roof and then you got to go up there and the sun is pelping. I said the sun is pelping. The sun is hot, man. I said, what, what, what sin have I committed for God to send me to hell while I'm unhurt? Please, Lord, forgive me. Don't send me to hell. So anywho, this is all I'm doing. Roll it. And I was done really quick, I tell you, just by doing this. So this was very, very helpful. So you got to use your brain. So now there it is. I pushed them back on. And how did I get them up there? You've seen how I did it before. So this is what it looks like so far with black stain. All of this is what I wanted to do in black stain. Okay, so now here I have the roofing. The next thing is what I did wrong. If guys, if you're gonna make this project, don't make the same mistake I make. Because I originally was gonna make this eight by eight, I bought eight footers. I bought eight footers. Was it eight footers or ten footers? I think I bought ten footers or eight footers. I don't remember. But I bought the the metal roofing, and now I I don't want to bring them back. Because I rent a Home Depot truck to bring all these home. Plus these uh, metal sh roofing are from Lowe's. Okay. So here I am on the roof and I'm trying to get it secure up top. So you guys see now I got it up there by myself. That's what I do. I kind of shove it up just like the wood. And then I went underneath and kind of pull it forward. Please guys, if you can get help to do this, please get all the help you need. Because though I don't want you to get caught by this metal. They're sharp. Please. Especially what's going to happen now. Because I didn't want to bring these back. So now I'm going to have to cut it. I bought, it was cheaper to go buy a metal cutter than to bring these back because I got to pick it up by myself, pack them up back in the truck, bring them back, rent a truck. So I said, I got to, again, I got to use my brain. You got to think of plan B. Do I ever have a plan B? I swear to God, any project, all these projects that you see me, got, me uh, do, never as I planned. I never make a project that came out as I planned. It's always something. So when you're doing this project, you guys are probably better than me. You will get it right, but I, it always turned out good, but it never as how I plan. If I should tell you what I have in my head and what I'm going to do, maybe I should start making a plan because it's all in my head. So those are my cotton shear. They're from Amazon. They were really cheap to cut metal. And come to find out, you have right-hand trimming shear and left-hand. Don't ask me which one was this. I just go up there and buy one, please. I didn't know. I just know I want to cut zinc. We call this zinc in Jamaica. I just know I want to cut metal roofing. So I go and I buy one, Okay. And I don't know. So I'm up here because I'm trying to save time. I'm trying to cut it while I'm on the roof. And the reason why, again, I have to do this, because you guys know how I feel about using a tape measurement. I have to eyeball. I have to physically put it there to really get the measurement precise. 
I will use a tape measurement, but for me to get it precise, because half of the time I go up there and come back down. I don't know if because I work nights, I come down and cut something else. <laughs> I measure something and then come down. I measure one inch and cut three quarter or one point something like off, half by <laughs> been off by like a point two inches. No, you know. So anywho, that was working. Sun is pelting. So I came down and I'm over here trying to cut it. And this is how I find out that we have a right hand and left hand. So I was cutting at the wrong angle. So whatever that was, this right. I think I'm right-handed and I bought a left hand one. So you could still use the left hand one, but you have to cut from a different angle. So instead of cutting, you see how I'm cutting this way? You would go on the side that I just go on and cut. See, as soon as I go to the other side, it wasn't a problem. It cut. It cut just like that. It was a little crooked, but please don't cut yourself. Please. Please, please, don't do what I do. I was born and raised in a third world country. We know how to handle things. Please, <laughs> please, don't follow me. We know how to cut can with knife. We know how to do all those things. Third world country, you see? I'm a, look at me, I'm a ninja. I walk over there, go over there. Don't do what I do, please. Don't stand on one ladder and cross over to the next. Please, I don't want you to hurt yourself. So here we are. I'm up there and now I am doing, you can't see what I'm doing because I'm the only one person. So the camera and I don't have drone and I don't have time for that. It takes a lot of time to make videos though. And I have a full-time job. So anywho, what I did up there is the first piece of metal. I pushed this one. I just went up underneath. Okay. So when the water comes, it will run off. You don't want to put it on top because the water is going to run on there. You don't want to get wet. So now I have a little bit more experience now with the scissors. You see that? Look, it's cutting and it's cutting peacefully and it's cutting straight. I have no problem. So thank God for grace and thank God for common sense. I figure it out quickly. So you just got to use your head and your brain. So this is what it looks like after I fully attach and secure the whole metal. And you want to make sure when you're putting these screws, if you guys ever decide to put a roof on your if you're going to make it or if you ever think of making it, do not tighten those screws too much. You don't want to just want to tighten them to a certain extent where you're not indenting. You notice my, um, my metal isn't indenting. It's not pushed down. It's not pushed down. So who is that? Who is this man? Look at that. Fiona. You guys know he, she's the foreman. Look at her. You see the wiggling tail? So now we're done with the roof. Thank God for Jesus. He helped with the sun because the sun is so hot. So at least I put that roof piece on. So it helped me a little bit. So now we're on to making the counter for the bar. Again, I'm just using two by four, using my driver and my drill, and we're going in. And what I did, I just used a two by four that was eight foot, an eight foot or two by four, okay? I didn't cut anything. I used the full length of a two by four for the bottom, and then I cut, I kind of like measure with my height. I measure it with my height and see where a bar would stop counter, and then that's how I know to cut the other piece of two by four to stand up, which was four foot. <laughs> four foot okay so it's one two by four i cut in half okay so there it is eight foot cut in half so there it is so all i'm doing i'm trying to secure those pieces before i make the counter because i don't know what i'm doing guys maybe i tell you i don't know what i'm doing i'm just doing as i go along i look and i use common sense and figure it out don't know what i'm doing okay somebody i know is gonna ask me for the plan for this because i post a shot and people are asking me for a plan i'm like miss I don't know. Maybe I should make up a plan, but I don't think my plan is the plan you want to follow because this plan will take you far from salvation and grace. But please, <laughs> let me stop. So anywho's, I'm over here. You see the video is going fast. Please, I'm sorry. I couldn't go any slow. You will skip off because it's already long from me. Look at this video. It's long. And I know somebody's going to tell me again I talk too much. But please, if you think I talk too much, go to the next video. The people who are here, they love to hear me talk. Okay? They love to hear me talk. Plus, I don't like the music that they give. I'm not going to pay for music for my video because it's not cheap and I don't make money like that. You got to watch the video and share it out if you want to hear good music. So I could pay for music so you could hear good music. When I start making that money. But I don't make that money. So I can't, you can't put in what you're not getting. Okay? Okay. So I will talk. I will talk for my people who want to hear me talk okay so if you are new here on this video because you want to make this and you think i chat too much i already know it you don't need to tell me just you could do thumbs down you could do thumbs down and go to the next video i appreciate it everything counts youtube counts everything so you don't have to do thumbs up you can do thumbs down too <laughs> that's not gonna stop me okay so anywho is enough look how 11 look that it's it's so level and that's what i'm talking about eyeballing and doing everything but it's level so now we have that piece. So now I am doing the bottom piece. We're going to make the covering for the, 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 what do you call this? The counter. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to do it like the back 
You see how the back I did the back and it has that space in between. I'm going to overlap these so it's going to look like a little roof. So keep watching, you'll see. So what I do, again, still don't use the tape measurement, up and down, cut one piece. And I, this is how I'm going to know that I could cut all the pieces off that one piece because that one piece, you notice I start from the bottom and I pull it all the way up the top and it's the same measurement. So this way, I we know we are level, we're square, and we have good measurement without a tape measurement, okay? So that's what I do. And then I cut a boat, a couple of them. At one time, I got tired of cutting. I start doubling and tripling up the wood. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. I have a 14-inch mitre saw, so I was able to double and triple. Please, I, I don't know. Don't follow me. I'm, I, I, I'm not certifying this. I'm just doing whatever work. And thank God for guiding me so I haven't hurt myself yet. Thank God for Jesus. So now I'm using a clamp because, again, like I say, these, I'm doing it like a roof. They're overlapping. So I use my clamp to hold one side, go to the other side, and I screw that into the 2 by 4 Come to the other side, screw it in the 2 by 4 And I'm going to repeat myself doing the same thing until I get to the top. I don't need to show you the whole thing because this is the same thing I'm doing. So now I'm all the way to the top. I'm showing you how I'm putting up the final piece. We clamp it, screw it. And you just need one screw to hold it, then you can go back and put the rest of the screw in. Because in case you make mistake, you don't want to put all the screws. You have so much screws to move and it's full of hold. And then you got to have the wool filler. That's hard work. You gotta, you're giving yourself more work when this project was already hard. So again, what's going to happen here? Again, with my measurement at the top, the same thing that happened to me, if you guys was paying attention to the back, is happening to me again here with the front. I had to use a, a four-piece, a four-inch, four-by-three-quarter piece of wood to tap that off. Again, this bar, the length of the bar counter is eight foot, 97 inches. I didn't cut the wood. Okay. And the little, uh, the <clears throat> side piece there where you see I stand just now is 15 inches. Now underneath the bottom that I used to brace there, I cut two by, um, what is this? One by two. No, it can't be two by four. No, two by two. Sorry. I cut two by two and I cut it at an angle to brace underneath the counter that's going to hang over. If you guys could see, there's three pieces, and I kind of screw that in, and I'm going to hang it to help with the hangover. So the hangover of the bar, I'm going to tell you the measurement, but also because I know you guys are not going to watch this video or you guys can't understand me because my English is bad or you guys think I talk too much, so you're watching it on mute. I'm going to have... I'm going to type my pin comment. I promise. I swear to God, I'm going to type a pin comment with the best I can with the measurements. I'm not even going to say anything else because it doesn't even matter. So anywho, this is what the top part looks like up there. I think I have this backward because I did this part before. So you guys are seeing this backward. But anywho, the bar is complete. The, the, not the full bar, but the counter. So now I decided, this is probably months later, I said, I'm sick of this. Because I had to give this project a break and go on to other stuff because it was stressing me out. So that's what I do. When I have a project that's stressing me out, so I don't screw it up, I leave it and go to something else. So that's why I'm always at something. I don't, and then I go back. Now my brain is fresh, I could think. So at this point, I'm like, I got to finish this. And originally, I wanted to make uh, this step all the way around. All the way around, like from there to there. So you could step down if you want to, you know, put plants and stuff. But it again, the landscape is slope and it was giving me a hard time. So I decided I'm just going to make a step that is 51 inches. So these are two by, what is this? Two by eight. I think they're two by eight. Yeah. Two by eight. So I decided that instead of killing myself to make a whole step all the way around to have that step down, like really look nice. It would have looked nice. The idea that I have would have looked so nice, but I had then had enough. You could still do that in the future. So when God bless me, oh, with that person who is good with the hand. We will make that part. Don't worry. Okay. I, I have, I'm very confident in that and I believe in that. So anywho, this for now is just my little part. So, so you could step up on there. So I make this four foot, which is the 51 inches, four foot and uh, 30, 31 inches out. So now I'm using one, uh, these one by six and I'm cutting those and I'm just putting them out. Okay. To make this step so we could get up there. And of course, being as the foreman, no, I thank God for my neighbors. They don't really live close, but this one lady, she's closer to me. Thank God. Cause I'm out there. That was like 10 o'clock at night cutting wood. Who does that? This is why I didn't want any neighbor, but God bless me one. I'm grateful for her. So anywho, now I decided on the other side of the bar, I want to make a door. I don't, I wanted the slat walls, but I did, I said, eh, maybe I should make a door with slat wall because if I make a door with slat wall, I could open it at any time and I don't have to. Because on the other side, if you guys keep watching, you're going to see how I put out the stuff. The grill is on the other side. You got to get to the bar. So I'm like, ah, in case I want to make a floating deck on the other side where you could walk out the bar and walk there, then I'll make a door to make it look good, the slat wall. 
But now I decided I won't because I, I, I'm still able to drive in my yard in the back. So I won't do that. If I make that floating deck, then I won't be able to drive around that to get in my backyard, the big, beautiful backyard. So no, it's going to stop there for now until I came up, I come up with something that I'm going to do with this, this landscape because right now this is it for now. But I have to figure out what to do with the landscape. I'm still on the fence about it. I don't want to invest in the landscape and then I'm going to sell the house. Because I don't see myself living here for more than 10 years unless I have kids. I like to buy these house, fix them up, and sell them. Only way I will stay here if I have kids, because I'm in a 9 out of 10 school district. Then that's it. But other than that, this house will be gone. So I don't want to invest too much. Okay, I already invest a lot, so I'm still on the fence about that. So anywho, we're making the door. We're using that one by, um, one by 3 quarter, and we're using those little one inch, whatever slot wall that you see right over there that I use for the privacy screen in there. So all I did, I measured the door. It's 75 inches long and 30 inches wide. So I use those and I use, I cut the wood down and I use those little pieces to put in the middle of the slot to make sure everything is lined up and measured correctly. Cause you guys know, how I feel about tape measurement again. So that's why I have those pieces in between. So, and then I'm doing this on a ground, like hard ground. That's not even level. So I have to make sure that it's not crooked to the eye when you look. So I put those pieces in between to hold it to make sure I have it straight. So that's what I did. So now put that in and then I screw them on. Okay, so that's it. It's easy. This I really like this door. I, I would make 10 more of these doors. I really like it. It turned out really nice. So once I was done doing all of that, put it in. I keep looking at it, going over, come back, put that piece back and make sure everything is lined up. Of course, there's the foreman. She don't really help. She just thing there. So my knees, boy, I tell you, I think I have no knees left. Somebody's going to ask me if my regular lady who always asks me, sister, where's your knee pad? Sometimes the knee pad is in the garage and I just wake up and start working. Can't never remember. So here we are. The door is done. So I brought it over. I like it like that. But then from the other side, I don't like it. So I turn it around. So any, any who's it end up looking good both ways. So I measure it. And of course, you guys did a similar type measurement, but it works. It works. <laughs> It works. Uh, now I am using my inches. I'm using some black inches that I got from Home Depot. Now, guys, when you're going to buy your inches, make sure you buy the right inches for the right door. Okay? Please. Right inches for the right door. Not every inches fit the door. Okay? You got to buy the <laughs> inches that for the proper weight. So, yes. So I'm screw putting the inches on and then making sure that it is okay. It's not going to fall off when the wind blows. It's not going to swing it open. Or anything. So you see what I mean on that side. I wanted the slot wall because I have a neighbor on that side. I mean, she don't see me. She lives in the front. I live in the back. And we still have little distance between each other and woods. If you guys see, you guys see a show around the yard, the trees around. So you, you're not sitting there looking at me. Plus the woman is old. Yeah, she's not old. She's older. She could be, believe it or not, probably be my, no, she couldn't be my grandmother, but almost because my mother had me when she was young. So anywho's, so now we're putting on the handles. We're using a little black handle that I got from the Home Depot. Put that on because, you know, of course, this is going to be that black with that cedar transparent color. So we want to make sure you have something to hold on to to open the door so we get the handle. So that's just that I'm doing. I swear that's me, you know. So if it's your first time here, I'm all the way into the video. I'm 38 minutes into the video. My name is Shayna. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. You often see me in the foreman. Her name is Fiona. We just ride and die together. Okay. So if you make it this far throughout this video, it's obvious that you're the real deal. You don't think I talk too much or you think it's okay. Or you like the project. Yeah. <laughs> so do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, share this video with your friends and family, this way they won't miss out. So a few things here, guys, I'm showing you guys that I did not make a video of. So I didn't like how those four by four was at the front. They look just lonely. They look really lonely. So I used the leftover pieces of wood that I cut from the slot wall in the back to make a little box right there and both in the front. Then I also make bar shelves. You see those? I used the two by uh, one by two, no, two by two. I used two by two and pieces of leftover wood to make those shelves so I could put my, my stuff up there, okay? So originally I really wanted to paint the everything that you see I didn't paint black in the other color, but because I spilled the black paint stain, I had to paint the stain the floor black. So that's what it looks like. That light in the ceiling, I tell you, I have that light for so long. I got it on sale when Jabla was closing out. It's a battery-operated light, and they sold. Uh, it was on sale, and I bought it. It's so big and pretty. 
Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but that's the problem. I always buy stuff, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but someday I will find a purpose, and that's the purpose. And it looks really nice underneath the bar. So this is what it looks like. I am going to go ahead, and then we're going to use, again, the beer stain to stain this in the uh, transparent, uh, what is it, cedar transparent color to stain it. But it's looking good so far. My yard look like Stanford and Sun. No? <laughs> but so far, I give God thanks for grace. So here's the stain that I'm going to use. I wanted to stain, like I said, originally the whole thing in the bottom that I didn't stain black, this color. But because I spilled the black stain, I told you nothing ever come out as I planned. So here I am. It's late at night again because this is summertime and you could see it start getting dark. So you know it's late. We're looking at about 8 o'clock at night. And I decided that I'm not going to stop because it looked like it was my day off. And when I get the day off, I want to use, I want to kill it. I want to do everything I can possibly do with that one day off. Because when you work nights, your day off is different from when you work days. Because you still got to come home and sleep. Okay? <laughs> and half of the time you sleep all the day. By the time you wake up, it's night or it's too late. So it's hard working nights. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, that's what worked for me now. So, anywho, I'm using a paintbrush. It's no fancy brush or anything. This brush is from the Dollar Tree. I'm using that and I'm going. I tell you, walk, kill me, me walk, settle my shoes, drop off on my foot. Look there. Look at my knees. They are swollen and everything. Boy, I tell you. Anywho, I see. This project had me lost weight. I lost 10 pounds from this project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anywho, we're staining. And I did two coats of stain on this. I'm not going to stay here and show you guys everything. So, these would know that you see, I run out of stain. So, I got to get more stain. And also, I need more black stain. Because I spill it all and I need more of the other stain because I use it on another project. This is not the only project that I use the stain on. So this one kind of stain took me a far way. So now I needed more. So I go buy more and then we're going to stain the thing. Okay. And finish it. But so far, this is what it looks like. And I put two coats on. Some part, I think I put two coats on on the bar front, but the rest in the back is one coat. Because I didn't want it to be too bright, too like overly orangey. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And then, of course, I don't have to show you guys because you guys already know how to stain. So this is the stain that left over. I stained those, the rest of it black. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. So now what I did, guys, you guys look at the bottom. I love how this turned out. Now, don't come for me because guess what? I say I don't want these creatures and the critters. I They, they could still dig under because they live under my shed. I have the wood chuck. They live under the shed. They eat on the shed like they pay rent. They come out and sit like it's the front porch. They pay rent. Yeah, guys, the wood shocks, they live under the shed. The shed is all the way in the woods up there. You can't even see it. I don't go up there. I think somebody lives in there. So I use that leftover piece and I put it on the bottom. And it looks nice. It makes it look finished. Plus, remember I told you I messed up the, the siding. So this kind of covered that. So then I stained the bottom. Here's a few pictures. And this is what it looks like, guys, when I was done. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I just got to do some landscape. I added a swing. I added the grill. We have four bar chairs. The only problem I have, I bought these chairs too short. It was too much to return it, so I decided I'm keeping it. But this is what it looks like, and I'm so grateful. I'm so happy how it turns out. Stay tuned if you want to see next year how I do the landscaping around this, okay? So I'm very proud of myself. This was a tough project, like I say. But I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And so can you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthened you. Until next time, be blessed and bye for now.